Hiya! So, we're going to show um, that there isn't really any consequences from using this uh, disposal system. There was some uh, question as to whether or not the objects would be properly deleted, um, or if they would show up in the game um, uh, in the uh, save files as an out-of-bound object. So, we have an enormous cylinder of uranium sitting here. More uranium than you could ever mine in the game. You might be able to get that much if you're doing lots and lots and lots of um, rocket trips, but uh, not normally. Now, let's save the file while I'm falling and switch to um, the uh, save file. And as you can see here, we have lots and lots and lots of uranium uh, references. Lots and 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 lots of them. The game file is over a hundred thousand lines long. I think they could, you know, do with removing some of these attributes. Like I don't think. A uh, hunk of uranium is going to be oxygen deprived or hydration deprived or starvation deprived or be toxic um, imbued. Uh, radiation is interesting. That might come soon. And I don't think a, a ball of uranium can be stunned. Uh, so it would be nice if they if they optimize their their file usage a little bit, their their file writing a little bit. Now, I also hesitate to say that because the first thing uh, any um, developer does when they try to save on uh, save file space is they just compress it. They use a compressor to compress it, which is just going to make it harder for people to uh, edit their files. And um, I like games that let you edit their files. It's uh, it's uh, It allows for a lot of different type of experiments to be done very quickly. But here's the file. Very long. Let's get back to the game. Uh, let's also stop to pay tribute to uh, something that is being hunted to extinction. And in our lifetime, we may see um, disappear from the world. It may it may be removed um, from human society and never seen again. And that is the word fuck being hunted to extinction uh, by YouTube and uh, threatening other people's, uh, threatening some YouTubers' uh, livelihoods. Uh, just search for swearing and stuff. It's all over the place. Um, RT was is currently being hit by it and all that kind of stuff. So much so that even uh, videos that they uploaded five years ago, some uh, videos being uploaded 10 years ago that were repeatedly uh, flagged as being okay, not being flagged as inappropriate, and monetized for uh, the duration of their, their channel life. Um, a rule changed uh, um, less than a month ago has caused uh, these uh, demonetation, demonetizations and age restrictions to suddenly pop up. In a world that's supposed to be evolving, that's supposed to be becoming better than what it used to be, it is regressing rapidly, um, like a bomb falling towards a city. You can hear it whistling overhead just before it goes off above you. Regressive politics and just general stupidity from the society. Flat earthers. Like, I should do a video about flat earthers. Uh... Stationers is a flat world. You can see that it's flat. You can um, do experiments to show that it's flat. You can load up KSP, and even though when you're standing on the ground, it looks like it's mostly flat. Um, when you ride a rocket up to the uh, up to the uh, up to space, you can see that it's round, and you can do experiments on the ground to show that it is round. Even space engineers, you can show that the planet is roughly round. You can just basically stick a, a frame into the ground 
and start building at a 90 degree angle and after a kilometer or so you'll find that uh, the end of your of your uh, pole is no longer touching the ground um, Minecraft is flat if you do the exact same thing you will always be on level ground KSP you can do something similar but it's much harder because you can't really you know build in situ but anyways Let's see this thing working now that we've uh, we've paid our respects to, to our soon to be dearly departed um, a word that has that has that has gifted me many a few half seconds of thought you know I say the word so that I can think of something else to say that's a Lewis Black joke I think it's hilarious he thinks it's hilarious no one thinks it's hilarious no one else does though let's turn this on. And discount yaki sacks. So here we go. It's all done. Everything's finished. Let's go outside. Our tube o' green shit is empty. And we'll open up the frame here. And nothing's stuck in the frame. It's because this goes down uh, several uh, frames, as far down as I could get it to go. And then we will switch to the save file once we save. There we go. Here we are. If we look for uranium, you can't see the find window, but I'm clicking your I'm clicking find uranium and it's not there. And our file size has now uh, gone down significantly from uh, 100,000 some odd lines to uh, 39,000 some odd lines. This is one of the few things that uh, Stationers does right is uh, garbage disposal. Um, and I don't mean garbage disposal with this, I mean garbage disposal as in um, garbage variables, garbage objects, things like that. Things that are deleted that you want off the, um, you want out of memory. Um, as I've been doing this, as I started the game, I spawned in all the uranium. I don't know how many were there, probably at least uh, between 50 and 100, let's say. Um, uh, the the memory usage went to um, 4.1 gigs to 4.8 gigs, so very little increase. Um, there was no decrease, so there there is some memory leakage. That the uh, the more stuff you spawn in, the bigger the 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 higher the memory usage will be. But that's with that's with most games. Most games don't um, relinquish their their memory very well after it's been allocated they sort of you know keep hoarding it and grow and grow and grow it's very hard to control that i i know from experience that it's very hard to control how much memory your application uses and the 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 game engines and the other um, um engines that are on the market 
um, they don't help any with uh, with that kind of memory uses. They're very poorly optimized for uh, that kind of thing. Um, that's why you can't play a game for like uh, 18 hours straight and expect it to uh, not get really weird. And I leave this game on constantly. I set things up, then I walk away from it, I forget that it's on, I come back, and that's when I find all of these strange little bugs going on. I get constant null errors. But this is one of the few things, um, as I was watching it, uh, it was my little Star Trek The Next Generation warp core going down there, getting rid of all of the uh, bad stuff, and... Uh, you can throw anything down there that'll fit. Anything that'll go through a chute, gone. Now, if you try to trap something in a frame and then um, try to squish it with a frame, it won't fall through the frame because, again, frames are placeable objects and it'll get stuck against uh, one of the six sides. So I'm over explaining again, so I'm just going to say bye. Hope you like the discount, Yakety Sacks.